Advantage Lithium is a uh, junior brine explorer, uh, lithium brine explorer in Argentina, focused 100% in uh, developing uh, a, a lithium brine asset in Argentina uh, in a basin called Cochari. And um, one of our biggest milestones that we uh, accomplished over the last uh, 12 months was doing a deal with a major, one of the only independent producers in 20 years um, called Oracobre. They're a TSX and ASX listed company with over a billion and a half dollar market cap. Well, there's been a, a real revolution from the, uh, the uh, traditional hydrocarbon <clears throat> vehicle to electric vehicles, and I think it was all started by Elon Musk at Tesla. Um, electric vehicles now are penetrating the market at record numbers, and lithium is one of the key elements that uh, powers the batteries that go into electric vehicles, and lithium is a very difficult uh, uh, element to produce, and uh, we've partnered with uh, one of the only major producers in the world, a uh, more independent one in the last 20 years. And it's, uh, it's an element that's prices have gone up from six to 7,000 a ton to over 12 to 14,000. And it's in much demand now. And I think by 2025, when more electric vehicles come into the marketplace, lithium is gonna be uh, in short supply. So companies like ourselves can benefit from bringing lithium into the marketplace uh, on or before those dates. Yeah, we're in a basin in Cochari, uh, Argentina Cochari, called uh, um, uh, in, in the province of Salta, uh, called uh, Cochari. And the Cochari Basin has a, a, a lot of money invested in it and infrastructure. In the last several years, our partner, Ocobre, spent over half a billion dollars developing their facility there, and they have a six million ton resource. Um, Lithium Americas and SQM have spent as much or more and they've uh, built out a 13 million, about a 12 million ton resource. And uh, uh, Advantage Lithium has spent 10 million in 2017 and is building out a new resource which we will be announcing Q1 uh, 2018 and we're excited about that. I think if you look at our, our junior peers out there that are in exploration right now and you look at the relative market caps of those companies and enterprise value, Advantage Lithium really provides shareholders with probably the cheapest entry point into a company if they really believe lithium is a long-term um, element that's required out there and electric vehicles are going to you know, be, penetrate the market at the rate some of the top analysts in the world are talking about. So if you look at our company, we're probably one of the cheapest companies to invest in. A lot of the other big producers right now are highly valued and probably fully valued at this point. So I think as far as a value proposition, we're probably one of the best value proposition companies out there to invest in with the current market cap under 200 million. Argentina's had an abundance of companies come in and start doing exploration in, in, in Argentina, both the mining uh, and resource sector, uh, lithium being the, the largest one most recently with uh, over 40 companies. And what, what the biggest challenge there that we found was the scarcity of talent. Um, the uh, good drilling contractors, people that understand how to work in Solars, it's, it's, a, it's, it's at a, such a high elevation and a difficult environment to work in, uh, isn't easy. And we were fortunate enough again to acquire all of Oracobre's exploration team. They work 100% for Advantage Lithium now. Uh, they understand the local communities. They understand the, the way to work in those areas uh, at those elevations. Uh, so the talent that we have on the technical side, the talent we have in terms of the drilling contractors um, is probably second to none in the basin right now um, for a junior explorer. And I think some of the other companies may have issues in terms of uh, getting the right talent in, in Argentina to work. The TSX, we're on, we graduated to Tier 1 TSX and it gives us a, a, a very broad range of shareholder base. Um, it, they've provided a a, a, a very strategic um, platform for us to tell our story. Um, their dissemination in terms of the news that we put out has been excellent and uh, it gives us a strong strong breadth of, of, of uh, a, a network of shareholders that we can reach um, with, with the news that we do put out. So we've, we've been pretty happy with the TSX.